To all who come to this happy place, welcome, welcome, welcome back. We are here at Disneyland, about to turn onto Main Street as we're walking towards the castle. I gave this a lot of thought, what my first attraction would be coming back. And you know, I really had a bunch of options. I could have done Space Mountain. I'm kidding, you know there was no deliberation. I'm going straight to Haunted Mansion. As we pass by Jungle Cruise, this attraction is closed as they make it more culturally sensitive and add some new stories. So I don't know if it's just me here, but it looks like there's some new stuff on the porch of Haunted Mansion. I don't know. It is 8.50 and they've started letting people into the queue 10 minutes early. Thank you, have a good day. How many here? In doorless chambers, and strange and frightening sounds echo through the halls. Of course, there's always my way. Oh my god, mind blown. Now this is the refurbishment that this attraction needed. It didn't change anything, really. It just made things clearer. The graveyard scene like blew my mind. They cleaned up that scrim, so it was basically invisible. It's still there, but it's really hard to see. And the beginning felt darker, which was kind of annoying because I liked the wallpaper in the beginning, but other than that, they just made everything clearer, crisper. Um, they freshened up some of the effects that weren't as clear and incredible okay heading into star wars galaxy's edge now it's really really weird being the only person walking through okay we're here at the millennium falcon for millennium falcon smugglers run it's set a 10 minute wait which to me seems like a walk-on so i just kind of want to do it because why not this is kind of cool we're heading up through the fast pass queue oh looks like we're skipping the pre-show here that's sad i've never had this before i have my own cockpit and push forward to fly down. Go, Scanner. Unlock weapons and gates. Looks like Oga's Cantina is closed. I don't know if it's because it's the morning or if it's because of COVID. But they do have social distancing markers set up. So after Millennium Falcon Smugglers run, have to do Rise of the Resistance, right? Just flows together. So as we're here, they're bringing us off to the side instead of going through the entrance and we're using some of the extended cube. Looks like we are skipping the pre-show and headed straight inside. There appear to be a number of small craft heading our way. Raise the shields. We are company first order TIE fighters. We love, we love, we love. We can't, we're caught in a tractor beam. It Like always, everyone goes down one side and they have no idea that you can actually go down the other side and skip the wait. Well, this is fun. The door won't close, so a little bit of a delay here. That was awesome. I love Rise of the Resistance. So it is 10.30. I'm headed to Fantasyland now, and I've already done Haunted Mansion, Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run, and Star Wars Rise of the Resistance. So Fantasyland is way more crowded than any other land in the park. And I'm going to head over to Snow White's Enchanted Wish to go check that out for the first time. This is the Snow White line. This is crazy. Okay, so even though we're in Fantasy Fair, it appears as though it's only a 20 or 25 minute wait. So what do you ask? Watch those precious children of yours. <laughs> I'm your way now.
that was incredible. They did such a good job. They plussed certain scenes to make them even better with projection mapping. And then the tree scene is the only scene that's really like gone, gone. And they replaced it with like basically three more scenes and then they changed the ending. Awesome. Leaving Fantasyland for now, because that seems to be the most crowded area of the park. And I'm gonna go ahead to Toontown to see some of the changes there, including the brand new Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway Show Building. So as soon as walking underneath, uh, the scale of this building is way bigger than the hills that used to be behind. Looks like basically the whole back of this attraction is kind of closed off. So this attraction just keeps going and going and going. Heading to Roger Rabbit's Cartoon Spin. So this is a huge casualty, is the loss of the Gag Factory Warehouse. Such an incredible gift shop. Let's head this way just to check out the building a little bit more. Coming around this way, it looks like Minnie is doing meet and greets here outside of her house. They're definitely getting some work here outside the show building. I mean, sorry, what show building? There's no show building here. This building is pretty ginormous. <laughs> Seems like the fountain's working where you can now jump on the plates and it makes the tuba sounds. Okay, so I can check Toontown off of my land list. Now let's head to Tomorrowland. Passing by Small World at 11.30. Okay, here at Space Mountain and I don't know what I see here on the sign. It looks like it says Rock It Mountain. This area is kind of weird. They're not playing any music here, so it's just sounds like a like a mall, like echoey voices. So instead of using these PhotoPass locations, they brought these stanchions that were, I think, last seen when Star Wars Galaxy's Edge opened to show the land status and boarding groups to enter the land. Uh, they're now using these for Space Mountain photos. So with that, I'm gonna finish this part one of my day at Disneyland. I still have most of Fantasyland to do in the entire west side of the park with Indiana Jones, Splash Mountain. So stay tuned for part two. Thank you for watching this one and I'll see you guys in the next one.